Here we go. The way he runs, the way his team wins. It all looks so easy for Parish Episcopal Jr. Dominic Williams. Everyone has a moment they remember of Dom with the ball in his hands. In the scrimmage against uh, Bishop Dunn, I believe it was a 30, 34 zone. Uh, I take my guy, block him out, and then Dom makes a, like, a cutback straight to the middle of the field. Third grade, uh, we're playing in Texas Stadium and saw him, you know, put a few moves on guys and stiff arm and spin out, things that I haven't even taught him yet. Uh, it was a play, we were doing a screen pass and um, Dom, he got the screen and he, it was about three defenders coming his way and he found a way to break three tackles and ran for like a 98 yard touchdown and that's when I knew Dom was the real deal. When Dominic, when he was receiving the ball from the other team, he caught it in the first quarter and he ran down the field and he scored a touchdown. You know, he'll do things in practice or do things in games where all of us that have played at a very high level will kind of look at each other, you know, and give each other the big eyes. There's a defender coming at him from, I think it was a safety, he was coming at him from the left, and then he spins around him, and then <laughs> there's another guy who's trying to make him down the field. He cuts back and then scores, and I thought, wow, that kid is definitely going D1. I don't know if I, there's so much a particular play, but there was a game when uh, he was playing select for the Knights, and it was clear towards the end that we were not going to win. But he played his heart out. The only way you're going to get a clean shot on Dominic is if he wants it. If he initiates it, then you'll get a clean shot. But if he doesn't want you to get a clean shot, you're going to get an arm, you're going to get a thigh. It's like tackling smoke. They all have a story about Dominic on the football field, except Dominic. Getting him to talk about himself is about as easy as tackling him. How hard is it going to be for me to get you to talk about yourself? Uh, I usually don't talk about myself, so I don't know. Let's play, let's play, let's play! Yes, sir! I think uh, I still have a lot more work to do, and like I'm not even close to where I can be right, right now. As a sophomore, Dominic ran for well over 2,000 yards and 34 touchdowns, and Parrish won a state championship. This year, he's on his way to matching those numbers, and maybe another state title. Dominic's like sunshine. You can always count on him. You know, uh, oftentimes, I think we sometimes take for granted uh, how reliable he is. He plays as if the game comes easy to him, and he lives that way too. Dom has an easy smile, and he wears it all the time. That is him. He has the biggest grin. He, and all the teachers tell you, like when they talk about him, they say he just lights up the room. I know he can't always be that happy, but he's always, he always has a grin on his face. He does, and it's just, it's, we call it the million dollar smile. He's a total contradiction. I mean, he runs in a rage and lives in a giggle. He makes it all look so easy, but it's not and you can hear it when he talks. I used to, I, I used, he used to play quarterback. Huh? I, used I know, to play. I watched you. He did? Dominic stutters, not as bad as he used to, but it's still there. I think in the beginning that kind of closed him in as far as which made him such a good athlete to the point where he wanted to show everybody how good he was without talking about it. I, I can't throw in the pocket, I can only throw while I, I, I roll out. And there's been stories like at, at Parrish, for instance, where there may have been one little kid that you know, made fun of him trying to say something, and the team rallies around Dominic. That a boy. There, now we're talking. Coach Natty used to stutter too. Hard yes, to imagine as fast as he talks they, now. Uh, they don't see the strategic significance of the weather or nothing like that. To them, it's no practice Friday. Awesome. So he understood exactly what his star player was going through. When you stutter, it's really uh, a difficult thing. People meaning well will finish your words for you. They'll, uh, They'll make everybody be quiet when you talk. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult thing. Dominic's freshman year, it would have been easy for him to do anything other than what came hardest. He was assigned to give an oral presentation in class. Sheer terror for a kid who stutters. I remember before I was nervous and I just kind of told the TE teacher that I would like take uh, like the bad grade to not present. And he asked the teacher if he could do it after school. Uh, and have some of his teammates come. I felt more comfortable, but it was still hard. And just because like, I've, I've always had a problem uh, talking in front of groups. I know it, had, it was about him stuttering, but he said, Coach Natty, he explained, he said there wasn't a dry eye in the room when he finished. It was just so moving. It was just like kind of emotional because 
just I, I just felt like I couldn't do it and just like from there to now I feel like I've improved a lot. It's wonderful to see someone do something they're not good at and win uh, as opposed to seeing someone do something they're really good at and win. You just get a haircut? Uh-huh, yesterday. <laughs> Overcoming the stuttering, and more importantly, the fear of stuttering. I like, uh, average, like, three touchdowns a game. Has made Dominic a better person. I was my, 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 my mom, so I can probably come this weekend. And it's made him a role model to parish third grader, James Craig. A Leonard Fournette. Uh-huh. That's your favorite player? Mm -hmm. He's just like me, and he plays the same position. I thought he was going to touch down on the field return. I've never seen him score a touchdown right here. You haven't? I have. I, I know it's tough since I've been through multiple classes of speech therapy, so I, I just wanted to help him get through it, through it and be a uh, role model to him. You know, what I want you to do is I want you to continue to be who you are. Dom has worked just as hard at his game, and that's why it looks so easy on Friday nights. He trains under Ronnie Braxton and next to NFL and college athletes. Other than that, how your body feeling? I started working with Dominic Williams when he was in sixth grade. I think he's about 11 years old and he's probably about 95 pounds. Since like sixth grade, I've been training with, with him every summer and he just taught me uh, so many lessons and just always pushes me. At the high school level, and let's just say 10,000, I rank him in the top 10. Well, I just always think about, uh, cause like I always have like a chip on my sh shoulder since like uh, I never like had uh, a lot of people believe in me. So like I just have to keep pushing to be able to make a statement. Are you better than this guy right here? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I can beat Dominic. That's not when he has a football in his hands, Dominic Williams is the picture of confidence and ability, but he's not perfect. He's a flawed hero which makes him that much more endearing to the little kids who look up to him. Oh, I broke through that tackle. You didn't gain any yards. <laughs> Including his younger brother and sister. He's really responsible and he has really good manners. He's, um, he's a nice brother. I think that he can do it because I think that he's responsible. Dominic is my favorite player because, because he's really fast like me. And and he's my favorite player, be, 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 because he's he he stutters like me. Remember, remember that one time I beat you in Madden? <laughs> no. It humbles me because uh, that's like something that like kind of like I like think about a lot and just kind of like think about how like I'm like not perfect and how uh, everyone has flaws. Dom is a young man you'd want around your kids. Uh, you'd want him to babysit your young ones. Whenever he takes care of us, it seems like he's not actually babysitting us. It just seems like we're somewhere else. Sports, you know, they come and go. Um, but uh, what I see him do with kids and how the kids really look up to him and gravitate towards him, that's one of his, his things that I really like. So how'd you do this year? Did you still play? Uh -huh. If you were ever to just meet him or talk to him, not once would he bring up the fact that, oh, I'm a football this and I do this and I've achieved this and I've done this. I tell him, look, it's awesome you're a good football player, you know, and right now it's a really neat thing. But very, very soon, no one on earth is going to care. You know, what's the, the Maya Angelou saying? Uh, they'll forget what you said and forget what you do, but they won't forget how you made them feel, right? And Don makes you feel good when you're around him. Each coach, after I committed, uh, kind of wrote their own little uh, thing. The future is bright. He's already committed to play football at Kansas, but the right now is so good, there's no need to look ahead. Can't wait to get you here. Rock Chalk, Coach Beatty. He's one of those people that if there's four courses on a plate, he's gonna eat this and then this and then this and then this. He's that guy, you know? Um, so, uh, you know, the, the future is Kansas Jayhawks, you know? Um, and that's pretty much put to bed. They were playing at Cowboy Stadium, and uh, that was him running for like an 80-yard touchdown. But when he went up to Kansas, they really showed him how much they loved him. Um, they're like, hey, you're our guy. It just felt right, because I've been to a lot of programs, and the coaches were just like, we connected, and just, 
in the it just felt right and then he would come just spin when he comes out to practice i kid you not i mean he has a a smile on his face like he just found a lotto ticket in his pocket you know and it's uh and i can tell you it's been many days that i have not had that look and uh and it's helped me find it you know and that's a, that's a gift it's a real gift those who love him the most have some advice for him continue to stay humble and stay grounded and know that whatever you do that I'm always going to be proud of you. Put your family first, uh, always. Um, the one you grew up in and the one you'll eventually have. And don't ever, ever, ever let anyone tell you what you can't do. Continue to stay humble, pray every day, and uh, continue to work hard. Ask yourself, if I wasn't dominant, if I wasn't getting all this, if I wasn't doing these things, would this person still like me as much as they do? You make me look good as a parent. I love you.